Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and it's time for another story. That's right, it's a day in the life of Wookie, aka Storytime with Wookie. The only video series I do that's so nice it has two different titles to it. <laughs> I'm extremely busy with work, so I don't have time to play a game, so instead, I figured, hey, let me tell you a story. And So sit back, relax, if you end up liking this video, you can always leave a like. Tell me how you feel about the story and leave it a comment, but hey, you can just sit back, relax, and kind of take it in a stride. That's what I'm doing, for sure. Um, so the thing I wanted to talk about is to go back to high school once again, and I wanted to speak specifically on the fact that I always want, I wanted to talk about the fights in high school. I was never directly involved in a high school fight, um, but I had this, like, over, actually, funny enough, I did have fights in, like, uh, elementary school and middle school, and, uh... But not high school. I, by the time I hit high school, I was like, all right, I guess I'm, my fighting days are over. The elementary school one, I'm still not 100% sure why we were fighting, but I got hit like with a jump rope to the back and it sucked real bad. And I, yeah, that was a whole weird situation there. There was like an entire war breaking out between uh, girls and boys, which is really weird. We never really hit the girls, and I didn't really, like, go fucking, like, Wolverine on them and beat them down. What I ended up doing was that I ended up grabbing the jump rope by the hands, because they kept hitting us with jump ropes, and I basically scared them off, uh, and because I was, like, five at the time, my fucking air went down, so let me quickly turn that back on, because I was, like, not five, maybe it was, like, closer to eight, uh, I ended up... <laughs> It sounds really cool, like an eight-year-old, oh yeah, I grabbed the jump rope that was hitting me towards the back and hitting all my friends, and I said, no, that's not what happened. What happened is I grabbed it, angry as hell, they looked me dead in the eyes, crying my eyes out, and basically going ballistic and going berserker rage on them and going, Rrr! but like, full-on, it was like a full-on crazy breakdown of a person but I was like channeling my rage into my tears it was the weirdest thing ever and then at the end of it it was like what the hell were they? <laughs> I don't want to say we're all third graders doing this and they were like Hector you can't do that it's like why did you scare the girls because again I didn't really hit them and they said it to him like he didn't hit us he just kind of scared us I said well they've been hitting us with jump ropes and then they're like what what do you mean you've been getting hit by jump ropes? I'm like, oh yeah, we've been fighting for the past week or so. And they're like, has every th has the girls been just been going around hitting the boys with jump ropes? And I'm like, yeah. And then obviously they got the girls side of the story because obviously that kind of escalation can only be started by two sides. So then the boys probably did some dumb shit to them and I only really was involved from when my friends were in there. But as far as I'm aware of, that was what their situation was. And we ended up hashing it out because, again, it was like third grade, so everyone's like, we're sorry for hitting you with the jump rope. And I said, you know what? I forgive you. And I'm sorry for going so crazy aggro on you. You did not deserve that. But I said like an eight-year-old, so I'm like, I'm sorry for chasing you. And they said, we're sorry for hitting you. And then that was done. And that was my elementary school fight. That was not the thing I wanted to say, but I feel like I had to give some context to the thing I was talking about here. In middle school, it was just straight up like punch fights over Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so... That's self-explanatory, don't touch my fucking cards. But in high school, <laughs> I was done doing fights, and what I wanted to have happen was for fights to happen right in front of me. Um, I've always been a fan of fighting, in fights in general. And in high school, I was like, well, in all the media that you see on high school fights, in the specific school that I went to, there was always fighting going on. So I was like, you know what I would like to see in the four years here? I want a fight to happen right before me. Because every time a fight happened, it was a friend of mine is getting into a fight, so I'm going to run over there and see what's going to go on in case they need help or something. Um, thankfully, it never got to that. Um, and then there was a situation where... Yeah, I think that was the only thing where I was like, all right... This dude's gonna go fight this giant dude, so we need to go make sure that he's okay. And then it turned out the giant dude didn't want to fight the guy who, who my friend, even though he was much bigger and much fatter than my friend, my friend was like, buff as shit, so he's like, I don't want to do any of this, so we, they didn't end up fighting. But I always wanted to see a fight break out in front of me. 
And for four years, I waited and waited because there was just constant fights going on, man. This high school was insane. You'd always hear stories. Our schools were definitely one of those ones where it was like uh, Hispanic students would get into fight with black students and Hispanic students would fucking fight Hispanic students and then black students would fight black students and then occasionally a white dude would fight another white guy because they were on the baseball team and someone was having sex with someone other the baseball team stories were always weird I eventually got to know them they were very nice kids in the baseball team very loose they were like driving cars and like they were living that life in high school <laughs> TV shows, and I was just looking at someone from the side, hearing it from the spec, I'm like, damn, you guys all do all of that? You have time to do your goddamn homework? That's unbelievable to me. But anyway, around, uh, so if you don't know, because, you know, the American school system, at least mine, it was, it goes 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So four years for a fight to happen. For the first two years, bunch of fights. Uh, none happened right in front of me. Um, and then in during uh, summer school, yes, yeah, summer school going into 11th grade, what happened was is that I was going to the bathroom and I went to go use it. And I was like, alright, let me just sit down and relax here, take a break from school, because that's just the kind of student I was. Where I was like, I'm going to use the bathroom time to kind of take a break. Um, while I was using the bathroom, <laughs> I was in one of the stalls. All of a sudden, I heard, Are you ready to do this? And I was like, What? And then another guy goes, Yeah, I'm ready. And then all of a sudden, I just start hearing. Wait one moment. Now, at that point, I was almost positive someone was having gay sex in the bathroom. And it was probably. Well, I guess. Yeah, it would have to be gay, because they were both male voices. Nothing wrong with gay sex, I'm just making it be sure. Actually, you know what? They could be experimenting. Hmm. I'll just call it sex sex. How about that? All sex is equal sex. There, I thought someone was having sex in the bathroom. <laughs> I slipped into my old high school uh, version of Wookiee, who would totally make the differentiation between gay sex and uh, straight sex, but I digress. You change over time, everyone, kids. It's okay to change. Um, but anyway, I immediately got up because I was like, I do not want to hear this anymore. I put on my pants, quickly ran out the stall, and when I opened the stall, two dudes. A Hispanic uh, kid and a black kid, because like I said, a lot of the fights ended up being that way. A lot of racial issues going on in this high school in California. Uh, the reasons why are varied. You could say there's a whole... I always saw it as like some kids from L.A., have a mindset of specific I don't know if it's gang mentality but there was because not everyone was like that but there was certain mentalities that felt like um, it was like a mentality it was shit it's kind of it's it's weird it's a weird hood thing that's just it stays around and unfortunately it goes generation to generation the only real, real way to stop it is to just not act that way you know that's like the best advice I have but unfortunately for the people who do act like that there's no real solace in it and it's not and the weird thing is is that for the specific kids in there there are Hispanic kids who were like oh yeah always friends with black kids and that was never really an issue but then there was always specifically stuff would happen it's really weird there's got to be some documentary on this specific topic that could should probably be explained by someone with a much easier to understand thing. But all I can say it's like, it's just weird. It's a weird territory thing and I feel like it's something that just kind of stuck around when it didn't really need to and there's no real place for it. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's never made any sense to me. It didn't make sense to me back then. But anyway, they were fighting and actually there wasn't like, um... There was another dude in there too who was the judge and I believe they also had friends there as well. So when I got out the stall, the judge and the two friends who were there to make sure the fight was fair looked at me. Um, and when I gave them a look back, I didn't say anything and I just decided that, well, I'm going to watch this fight now. I'm not going to say anything. Just let you know. I told, I basically gave them a sign that said, I understand. Which was like a like a nod, and then I was like, "All right, he's not gonna interfere in the fight. I'm just gonna look at it." 
black dude fucked up this Mexican kid. Oh my god. His Mexican, uh, Hispanic kid. Excuse me. Just completely annihilated him. He was bleeding from his face. And I remember watching going, God damn, I've never seen a man get his ass kicked this hard. This is unbelievable. It was such an unbelievable ass beating. It was like constant punches to the face. There was no real kicking involved from what I remember, but it was a pretty bad beatdown. But at the end of it, they were like, so we good now? And he said, yeah, we good. And they shook hands, and the black dude left. And the at that point, I washed my hands, and I also left to leave him to think about the fight. And I assume, you know, for all intents and purposes, they were done for... Uh, the most part. If they were doing it out of the ways, they must... I wish I knew the backstory of this, because I feel like if you have enough respect to say, we need to do this, mano a mano, in a bathroom, you bring someone to make sure it's fair for you in case I don't do anything dumb, and then you bring someone in case I don't do anything dumb, um, then we'll be good, and then, you know, nothing else. The bigger man wins, and we're done. Like, whatever aggressions we have inside of us... We leave it out on our fists, and then the fucking situation is done, and no, no need to, no need for further escalation. If you're gonna fight, this is probably the nicest fight you can probably have. Um, so I was leaving that going, man. How long was I in there? Because now I don't think I can explain this to my teacher. But thankfully, when I got in there, my teacher did not care because it was summer school. So anyway, that happened, but also. That did not count for what I wanted, which was a fight to happen right in front of me, because I was actually in the bathroom during the beginning parts of the fight. So, in my mind, did not count. Uh, around 11th grade, what ended up happening was... And this ended up changing the school a whole bunch. Um, two kids were fighting. I don't remember their specific races. I want to say it was just two random kids. I always kept track of it in my mind, the races, because I was always like, is this a weird race thing going on? Or is this just like two dudes fighting? Usually if it was between two white dudes, it was about a girl, but if it was between <laughs> any other races, it was a really weird race thing going on. Um, I think it was between two white dudes, because they were, this the thing he did could only be done by a white guy. So they were fighting, and it was getting pretty intense. And the Dean came to break it up. And what happened is, is, as he was breaking up, one of the kids fucking swung back and knocked his ass out. Full on. Just on the floor. And at that point, every single kid who was watching the fight was like, that's gonna have some consequences. So what ended up happening is that we went into basically no tolerance mode and for the remainder of my time there because of someone laid hands on one of the faculty members if you were caught fighting in my school it was an automatic expulsion there was no tolerance for any of it because if things were honestly kind of getting out of hand by that point but someone basically went and full-on destroyed this guy um, so at that point I was in 12th grade and I, I, no, I was 11th grade I enter 12th grade, my final year there, um, have not seen a fight break out at all, and I was like, oh man, this is my final year, I'm never gonna see anything. It's a real shame, because I really wanted to see it. Um, so I was walking home to the car, because I always got picked up by my mom at the time, um, and I always took the same route, and I took the same route for four years, and the one time... 12th grade I said instead of going left I'm going to go to the right because it's going to be the exact same amount of distance the only difference is that I'm taking a new route and that's it as I'm going to the right I'm walking I'm walking and at the point where I would be at the other side I look over and a fucking fight breaks out and they start wailing on each other, and I'm far away, and I go, Oh my god. I'm like far the hell away. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to make it in time. This fight is not going to last long enough because they're the, the because of the zero tolerances, all the fights have never lasted more than like two minutes now. And I was like so pissed and angry with myself. I was like, I cannot believe. For four years, I took the exact same route to reach this place. And the one time I do not take that route, 
a fight breaks out right where I would have been. I was... Oh, I've been talking about it for years. Anytime anyone will listen to me, <laughs> I will gladly tell them. I don't know why it was so important for me to see fights to happen right in front of me. I always wanted it to happen. Obviously, all the fights were kind of bad. Because it was always either one dude, it was either super one-sided and actually knew how to fight. And then boom, boom, boom. Uh, and it was never any th problem. And then, who knows. Oh, actually, I just remembered. There was, I did have technically a fight in um, high school. So let me actually tell you it, because it was actually a sanctioned fight. Um, I was in something called Humanitas, which was basically a artsy, fartsy kind of... You know, it's for kids who are having struggles in schools, and also the baseball players who need a easier school time uh, because they play sports. So let's give them some easy shit to do and stuff like that. And then we can also put them with students who have trouble um, in regular uh, class environments. And it was pretty fun. I always liked it. Um, in I think 11th grade for humanities, we had a big thing where it was supposed to be like. Uh, we had like huge projects that people would see like, oh, Humanities did this this year, and for that year, we did a whole 1920s style thing. And one of the things we did, and I don't remember what the fuck we did, I remember, I think it was, it was something really, it was like a bar? Yeah, it was a bar that played songs from Chicago on repeat, and I remember going like, Oh, this seemed like a good idea, but then by the final day I was like, I am tired of the fucking soundtrack of Chicago, and so is everyone else around us, unfortunately. Um, and it was pretty tough. But anyway, so I had, in my earlier years, had taken some training in boxing, and one of the kids there, one of the teams there, had built a boxing ring to do like a 1920 boxing style event. So basically, and they actually had people, you know, like, show, oh, we'll put on shows for boxing and it'll be real fun. And this was improved by the um, teachers and stuff as well, for some reason. <laughs> and so one of the combatants, they were like, Oh man, Wookie, you should get up there. I'm like, I don't know if you should. So in my earlier days, I had actually had some training in boxing, so I actually knew some boxing techniques and stuff. Um, in case of self-defense stuff happening, you know, anything happened, I knew how to throw a pretty good boxing punch. It's not one of the best. But it's better than most people who don't know anything about boxing. So I got into the ring and I... So we, it was made to be put on like a real bout. Um, before we went on, I remember telling the guy we were like having some quick words. Because he was a really nice guy. And I and he was, I was like, okay, so how are we going to do this? He's like, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be gentle. I'll go first on you and then you hit me afterwards. I'm like, okay, sounds good. And... Uh, what ended up happening is that he was actually hitting back way hard. I'm like, dude, because he was trying to make it look good, but he was doing too much of a good job, so I was actually feeling a little bit of the pain. So I was, like, guarding myself, and he was just going fucking wild, and I was like, I'm not having any of this. So when it finally came time for me to do my hit, I looked him dead in the eye, and I fucking cocked him in the face, and thankfully he was wearing protective gear, but I hit him, and I and he immediately went down, and I went, oh no, and everyone else went, oh no, and everyone who was watching was going, hell yeah, because they thought it was an actual show, and then what ended up happening was I was like, oh dude, I'm so sorry, and then he was not paying attention because a dude just actually knocked him out, and he was knocked out for I think ten seconds, and then the second he woke up, he was like. Someone just fucking punked me out in front of everyone and he got up and he was about to come after me But at that point I was like already fist down like I don't want to do anything more man. This is it I don't want to do any more. It was a total accident. It, it was a total thing of like um, Because it was a genuine accident, but I, but I was also kind of pissed So I was not thinking too straight. I didn't mean to actually knock him out I just meant for him to take a little hit. I'm like well if you're gonna hit me a little bit I'm gonna hit you back um and that was, everyone said, was an amazing fight. And we said, yeah, yeah. And then they, we, they were not allowed to do any more fights in the boxing ring because the teachers found out that it was not a stage thing that I did. And he was really knocked out for a bit. And then I told him, uh, we ended up talking a little bit because I was like, listen, you're very clearly angry. I was 
getting attacked and I felt a little bit angry because it, it was hurting a little bit for me. So I'm just going to say I'm sorry for doing what it did to you. And he's like, you know what? I'm sorry too, man. I, you know, in the ring, I got too into it. And I was like, okay, cool, man. All fine. And he was also a white dude. At this point, I don't know why I'm keeping track of all the races, but at this point, I may as well say this was, I think, the only fight between a white dude and a Mexican in the entire high school, as far as I'm aware of. Um, so we ended up like, you know, handshake, and we said, all right, cool. And we were good friends still, you know, up until I left there, but he was a really nice guy. And I always felt bad for it, because every time I mentioned it, every time someone, any time someone bring it up, I was like, oh man, I regret that so much. Because, you know, I don't really want to hurt anyone. But yeah, those are my fight stories from high school, technically elementary school, and you don't need to know more about middle school other than it was related to Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Some asshole pushed down my cards and I fucking clocked him, so. <laughs> that's all you need to know. Oh, and there was one other incident, but I don't want to talk about that. Not right now. But anyway. That's the end of the story time, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Learned a little things from fights. Learned probably more than you want from me and my high school experience of dealing with such a weird caliber. I wonder actually, because a lot of, I bet, you know, like someone from Utah, for example, but there's not that many um, Hispanics uh, racially divided in there. I shouldn't mention that we're also Asian. We were actually pretty racially divided in front of our high school. It was pretty even, I would say. Because we had a lot of foreign exchange students from Japan as well, so. When you have that many people of certain things, and you have stupid, crazy hormones going on, you'll just fight over the dumbest shit. That's just the way of it. It's the way of the world, unfortunately, but. That's the end of the day's story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, have a good day, and I wish you all a good night. Bye-bye.